Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, there were two regal sisters who ruled together and created harmony for all the land. To do this, the eldest used her unicorn powers to raise the sun at dawn. The younger brought out the moon to begin the night. Thus, the two sisters maintained balance for their kingdom and their subjects, all the different types of ponies. But as time went on, the younger sister became resentful. The ponies relished and played in the day her elder sister brought forth, but shunned and slept through her beautiful night. One fateful day, the younger unicorn refused to lower the moon to make way for the dawn. The elder sister tried to reason with her, but the bitterness in the young one's heart had transformed her into a wicked mare of darkness, Nightmare Moon. She vowed that she would shroud the land in eternal night. Reluctantly, the elder sister harnessed the most powerful magic known to Ponyum, the Elements of Harmony. Using the magic of the Elements of Harmony, she defeated her younger sister and banished her permanently in the moon. The elder sister took on responsibility for both sun and moon, and Harmony has been maintained in Equestria for generations since. Hmm, Elements of Harmony. I know I've heard of those before, but where? My little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be, my little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have my Moondancer is having a little get-together in the West Castle Courtyard. You want to come? Oh, sorry, girls. I got a lot of studying to catch up on. <sighs> Does that pony do anything except study? I think she's more interested in books than friends. I know I've heard of the Elements of Harmony. an old copy of Predictions and Prophecies. What's that for? Well, it was a gift for Moondancer, but... Oh, Spike, you know we don't have time for that sort of thing. But we're on a break! No, 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 no! Ugh. Spike! It's over here! Elements, elements, e, e, e. Aha! Elements of harmony. See Mare in the Moon? Mare in the Moon? But that's just an old pony's tale. Mare, Mare. Aha! The Mare in the Moon, myth from olden pony times. A powerful pony who wanted to rule Equestria, defeated by the elements of harmony and imprisoned in the moon. Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about nighttime eternal. Spike, do you know what this means? No. Take a note, please. To the princess. Oh, Doki? My dearest teacher, my continuing studies of pony magic have led me to discover that we are on the precipice of disaster. Hold on. Pressure. Pressure. Threshold. Uh, Brink? Uh, that something really bad is about to happen. For you see, the mythical Mare in the Moon is in fact Nightmare Moon, and she's about to return to Equestria and bring with her eternal night. Something must be done to make sure this terrible prophecy does not come true. I await your quick response. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle! Got it! Great! Send it. 
now? Of course. Uh, I don't know, Twilight. Princess Celestia is a little busy getting ready for the summer sun celebration. And it's like the day after tomorrow. That's just it, Spike. The day after tomorrow is the thousandth year of the summer sun celebration. It's imperative that the princess is told right away. Impera? Impera? Important! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <gasps> there, it's on its way. But I wouldn't hold your breath. Oh, I'm not worried, Spike. The princess trusts me completely. In all the years she's been my mentor, she's never once doubted me. <laughs> See? I knew she would want to take immediate action. <clears throat> my dearest, most faithful student, Twilight, you know that I value your diligence and that I trust you completely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you simply must stop reading those dusty old books. <gasps> My dear Twilight, there is more to a young pony's life than studying. So I'm sending you to supervise the preparations for the summer sun celebration in this year's location, Ponyville. And I have an even more essential task for you to complete. Make some friends. Aww. Look on the bright side, Twilight. The princess arranged for you to stay in a library. Doesn't that make you happy? Yes. Yes, it does. You know why? Because I'm right. I'll check on the preparations as fast as I can, then get to the library to find some proof of Nightmare Moon's return. Then when will you make friends like the princess said? She said to check on preparations. I am her student, and I'll do my royal duty. But the fate of Equestria does not rest on me making friends. <laughs> Thank you, sirs. Maybe the ponies in Ponyville have interesting things to talk about. Come on, Twilight, just try! Uh, hello? <gasps> well, that was interesting, all right. <sighs> Summer Sun Celebration Official Overseer's Checklist. Number one, banquet preparations, Sweet Apple Acres. Yeah! <laughs> Let's get this over with. Good afternoon. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Well, how to do, Miss Twilight? A pleasure making your acquaintance. I'm Applejack. We here at Sweet Apple Acres sure do like making new friends. Friends? Actually, I... So, what can I do you for? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I am, in fact, here to supervise preparations for the Summer Sun Celebration. And you're in charge of the food? We sure as sugar are. Would you care to sample some? Well, as long as it doesn't take too long. Soup on, every pony! <laughs> now, why don't I introduce y'all to the Apple family? Thanks, but I really need to hurry. This here's Apple Fritter. Apple Bumpkin, Red Gallop, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Caramel Apple, Apple Scooter, Apple Tart, Baked Apples, Apple Brioche, Apple Cinnamon Crisp, Big Macintosh, Apple Bloom, and Granny Smith. Up and at him, Granny Smith, we got guests. <laughs> Soup's up. I'm on here, come on, come Why, I'd say they're already part of the family. <laughs> Okay, well, I can see the food situation is handled, so we'll be on our way. Aren't you gonna stay for brunch? Sorry, but we have an awful lot to do. Oh. Fine. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Food's all taken care of. Next is weather. Ugh, I ate too much pie. Hmm, there's supposed to be a Pegasus pony named Rainbow Dash clear in the clouds. Well, she's not doing a very good job, is she? Uh. <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. I guess I overdid. 
did it. Um, uh, how about this? My very own patented rain blow dry. No, no, don't thank me. You're quite welcome. Let me guess, your Rainbow Dash. The one and only. Why, you heard of me? I heard you're supposed to be keeping the sky clear. <sighs> I'm Twilight Sparkle, and the princess sent me to check on the weather. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a snap. I'll do it in a jiffy, just as soon as I'm done practicing. Practicing for what? The Wonder Bolts. They're gonna perform at the celebration tomorrow, and I'm gonna show them my stuff. The Wonder Bolts? Yep. The most talented flyers in all of Equestria? That's them. <laughs> Please, they'd never accept a Pegasus who can't even keep the sky clear for one measly day. Hey, I could clear the sky in 10 seconds flat. Prove it. <laughs> Flat. I'd never leave Ponyville hanging. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. <laughs> You're a laugh, Twilight Sparkle. I can't wait to hang out some more. Wow! She's amazing! <laughs> wait! It's kind of pretty once you get used to it. Decorations. Beautiful. Yes, the decor is coming along nicely. This ought to be quick. I'll be at the library in no time. Beautiful indeed. Not the decor. <sighs> no, no, no. Oh, goodness, no. Hmm. How are my spines? Are they straight? Good afternoon. Just a moment, please. I'm in the zone, as twere. Oh, yes. Sparkle always does the trick, does it not? Why, Rarity, you are a talent. Now, um, how can I help you? <laughs> oh, my stars, darling! Whatever happened to your coiffure? Oh, you mean my mane? Well, it's a long story. I'm just here to check on the decorations and then I'll be out of your hair. Out of my hair? What about your hair? Wait, where are we going? Help! No! Too green, too yellow, too poofy, not poofy enough, too frilly, too shiny. Now go on, my dear. You were telling me where you're from. I've been sent from Canterlot to... Huh? Canterlot? Oh, I am so envious, the glamour, the sophistication. I have always dreamed of living there. I can't wait to hear all about it. We are going to be the best of friends, you and I. Emerald? What was I thinking? Let me get you some rubies. Quick, before she decides to dye my coat a new color. <sighs> Wasn't she wonderful? Focus, Casanova. What's next on the list? <clears throat> oh, uh, music. It's the last one. Please, everyone. Um, excuse me, sir. I mean, no offense, but your rhythm is just a teeny tiny bit off. Now, follow me, please. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Hello! Oh my, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to frighten your birds. I'm just here to check up on the music and it's sounding beautiful. I'm Twilight Sparkle. What's your name? Um, I'm Fluttershine. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, my name is Fluttershine. Didn't quite catch that. <laughs> well, um, it looks like your birds are back. So I guess everything's in order. Keep up the good work. Okay. Well, that was easy. <gasps> A baby dragon! Oh, I'd never
never seen a baby dragon before. He's so cute. Well, well, well. Oh, my. He talks. I didn't know dragons could talk. That's just so incredibly wonderful. I... I just don't even know what to say. Well, in that case, we'd better be going. Oh, wait, wait. What's his name? I'm Spike. Hi, Spike. I'm Fluttershy. Wow, a talking dragon. And what do dragons talk about? Well, what do you want to know? Absolutely everything. Ugh. Well, I started out as a cute little purple and green egg. And that's the story of my whole entire life. Well, up until today. Do you want to hear about today? Oh, yes, please. Ah! I am so sorry. How did we get here so fast? This is where I'm staying while in Ponyville, and my poor baby dragon needs his sleep. No, I don't. Aw, ah! oh, look at that. He's so sweepy he can't even keep his widow balance. Poor thing. You simply must get him to bed. Yes, yes. We'll get right on that. Well, good night. Huh. Rude much? Sorry, Spike. But I have to convince the princess that Nightmare Moon is coming and we're running out of time. I just need to be alone so I can study without a bunch of crazy ponies trying to make friends all the time. Now, where's the light? Libraries are supposed to be quiet. <laughs> well, that's silly. What kind of welcome party would this be if it were quiet? I mean, duh, boring. You see, I saw you when you first got here, remember? You were all hello and I was all, <gasps> remember? You see, I never saw you before and if I never saw you before, that meant you're new. Because I know every pony and uh... I mean every pony in Ponyville. And if you're new, it meant you hadn't met anyone yet. And if you haven't met anyone yet, you must not have any friends. And if you don't have any friends, then you must be lonely. And that made me so sad and I had an idea. And that's why I went, <gasps> I just do a great big ginormous super duper spectacular welcome Are you all right, Sugar Q? Aw, she's so happy she's crying! Hot sauce. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Uh. Hey, Twilight! Pinkie Pie's starting in the tail in the pony! Wanna play? No! All the ponies in this town are crazy! Do you know what time it is? It's the eve of the summer sun celebration. Every pony has to stay up or they'll miss the princess raise the sun. You really should lighten up, Twilight. It's a party! <laughs> Here I thought I'd have time to learn more about the elements of harmony. But, silly me, all this ridiculous friend-making has kept me from it! Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about everlasting night. I hope the princess was right. I hope it really is just an old pony tale. Come on, Twilight! It's time to watch the sunrise! Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. That I saw you walking into town and I went, <gasps> but I mean, really, who can top that? Phillies and gentle colts, as mayor of Ponyville, it is my great pleasure to announce the beginning of the summer sun celebration. <laughs> In just a few moments, our town will witness the magic of the sunrise and celebrate this, the longest day of the year. And now, it is my great honor to introduce to you the ruler of our land, the very pony who gives us the sun and the moon each and every day, the good, the wise, the bringer of harmony to all of Equestria. Ready? Princess Celestia! <laughs> This can't be good. Remain calm, every pony. There must be a reasonable explanation. Oh, oh, I love guessing games. Is she hiding? She's gone. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, she's good. <gasps> oh, no. Nightmare Moon. Oh, my 
beloved subjects. It's been so long since I've seen your precious little sun-loving faces. What did you do with our princess? Oh, dear Nelly. <laughs> Why? Am I not royal enough for you? Don't you know who I am? Ooh, ooh, more guessing games. Um, Pokey Smokes. How about Queen Mimi? No, Black Snooty, Black Snooty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does my crown no longer count now that I have been imprisoned for a thousand years? Did you not recall the legend? Did you not see the signs? I did, and I know who you are. You're the Mare in the Moon, Nightmare Moon. <gasps> Well, 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 some pony who remembers me. Then you also know why I'm here. You're here to... to... <laughs> Remember this day, little ponies, for it was your last. From this moment forth, the night will last forever. 